Howdy guys, I'm Otto Edis Jason, and today I've brought you with me up here into Michigan at Rocks and Valleys Off-Road Park. And you're here with my buddies from Best Top and Baja Designs. We scored a couple of 2021 Broncos. We've got a two door and a four door. And I'm gonna bring you with me in a BTS behind the scenes of this photo shoot. They're gonna be testing out some of their new product, getting some video and some photos. And they invited me up here to actually get some seat time in these things. And I thought I'd share with, with you guys what it's like to have, be on a product shoot like this. It's pretty fun. I'm a lucky dude. So come on along, check this out. How'd that go? So good. All right, so I want to introduce you guys to the ringleader of this, Rick. <laughs> uh, what is happening? Who are you and what are we doing out here today? <laughs> I guess you could call me a producer, art director, whatever you want. But uh, yeah, I am the ringleader of this shoot. Um, it basically was tasked with, with putting this shoot together to get a whole bunch of Bronco assets. We have absolutely nothing really at the moment. So, um, you know, we came out here to shoot things like our Sunrider, which we have on here behind us. Mandatory equipment, <laughs> like has to have, yeah. Right, and uh, we also gonna be shooting our Trek top tomorrow. Okay. And yeah, we'll be doing a number of other things. We have Baja Designs out here who, they have a, a number of products already. Okay, um, I was I was kind of walking around that, yes, we have the silver one with a, a light bar and then we mm -hmm. have the red one with like, what do you call that, pods or? or... They're the linkable system, yeah, I linkable. guess. So there's um, a, it's some unique stuff going on yeah. here, so. Yeah, so I mean, basically, you know, we're gonna be using it on our website. Um, we're gonna be using it, um, you know, basically for any sort of marketing and advertising um, the, at launch of what, what people can buy from Best Top right. and Baja Designs. So what I wanna share with you guys is that it, it looks great and it is fun because you get to go out to these cool locations. Like yeah. you found this place, we're out here just getting beauty shots like well we and also we get to drive these cool pre-production broncos right. before anybody gets to i think that's the part people really be jealous about yeah, not necessarily that we be, get yeah. to go to <laughs> michigan <laughs> well yeah michigan and where are we middle of may or yeah. yeah so yeah so we had to come to ford uh to make this happen which is why we are in michigan and not in colorado okay. or maybe california yeah but, i would have liked that uh, but yeah. it's okay yeah uh, well it's it's awesome so thanks for having yeah, me out here definitely. to check this thing out and we're just like i say we're running around through the hills the park this is rocks and valleys it's a cool little off-road park up here are we in northern michigan or are we just it's, middle i of think michigan? we're right in the middle of michigan middle central of michigan, michigan claire so. michigan and yeah, yeah i've never so. been in this area but it reminds me of pennsylvania where yeah. i'm from so well it's cool we're gonna listen to the artists the photographers are setting us up for running down this next shot so that's what's next all right Behind me is the, the, the video right. and photography this crew. One here and then These guys, one. Oh, okay. you can hear them, they're both. making a plan. Like, I want to get both. Let's, let's, let's one, see what the artistry is happening here. Um, it's a four door and a two door. I and I think together stacked up with the green and the red would look really good. Oh, so. cool. I didn't see here. As an artistic uh, standpoint. I'm going to hide behind that tree on the right. Okay, okay. that's cool. Like, uh, which one? The, the large maple on the side. Okay. All right, so when you see these beautiful shots on the, they're at the best top, uh, you'll know how that happens. Yeah. This is how the artists like really that. at work, not the, us yeah. guys with like handy cams out here. These are the real artists at work. All right, so I just got volunteered. Yeah, let's do the uh, red one coming, red one with the uh, silver behind. Copy that, red one in the lead, that's me. I just got uh, volunteered to drive the red one for this shot. And then silver behind, and we'll come down this cute, cool little hill here and get some rad shots. All right, Rick, what, what mode are you going to use to climb this one? <laughs> I don't know. I think about um, mud and ruts. I'll mud that one. and ruts. Let's, okay. let's, let's go and check that out. Mud and ruts. All right, I'm, I'm in mud and ruts. We've got the rear locker comes on. We're gonna try it. We're gonna head, send it up this little hill right up here.
So we swapped. Rick is now in the two door, getting rad on this little hill climb. And they're getting some video right now. So I'm waiting my turn. And uh, now I'm, I'm kind of liking this because the four door is what I would like. I, I think this is the, the wheelbase and this is the size uh, of Bronco that I would choose. So it's actually really fun for me to get in this thing and see what it's doing. And it's doing, watch how it climbs this hill. It kind of effortlessly gets up this thing. Watch, check this out. Head on up. I love how easy that is. Brandon, uh, what does the badge say on the outside of this thing? Outer Banks, Sasquatch. This is an Outer Banks. So in the silver four door, it's an Outer Banks and it has the Lux interior. So it has this fancy big screen and some other accessories inside here. Uh, it doesn't have the rock moat. So I have to go into, let's see, let's go into mud ruts and then actually put it into four low manually. So there's there's those things that you gotta get used to in between the models in the different trim levels. So it's just kind of fun, but the camera on the Lux mode, having that, and then when you put it in reverse, check this out. In you put it in reverse, it gives you the reverse camera and a top down view of all of what's around you. That is pretty radical. So when you are literally rock crawling, you have an extra set of eyes from right here on the on the center. It's It's pretty cool. Another thing that I'm kind of getting used to and really starting to appreciate is the one pedal driving. And it's a little button that's right in the center of the GOAT mode dial that it applies brakes. So you literally drive it like a video game. So you apply throttle, the vehicle moves, you let the, the throttle off and the vehicle slows to a stop. Coming down a hill, that's amazing. I actually just came down that hill with that and it just was so stable and it brakes and it, keep, it manages speed better than you can manually. And that's what's kind of uh, strange to get your brain around all that stuff. So uh, this is a lot of fun. I mean, huh, really, really good vehicles, really interesting vehicles. And like I say, the interior is just so much fun to be in. And so that's, that's, it's got that emotion going for it as well. So here, here's that mode right here. So you hit this button and it goes into Trail pedal drive, trail one pedal drive active. So that's what I'm talking about is just getting used to all of these different little gizmos and 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 things that are pretty fun to get, pretty fun to kind of embrace. So here's a cool demonstration of what the front facing camera can actually help you. So we're coming up on this little ledge that goes back down to the bottom there, but I don't know how steep this little turn is here. So I'm gonna show you guys how the camera, I'm gonna cheat and use the front facing camera to look down this hill. There you go. You can actually see that this is a doable hill and not a complete and total drop off. How cool is that? Technology helping you. And now here I am with the one pedal, not using any brake and just, just keeping this thing nice and slow. Pretty cool, right? All right. Day in the life of the photographers. Always shooting, always working, working, working the angles. We're, we're, we're just the <laughs> working the magic. the magic. We're in between. We just finished working the, the little trail section there. And uh, I'm digging my time in the, even in that tight trail there, I'm digging my time in the four door. Uh, it's just, it is closer to where, what I would spec. Are you kidding? How beautiful is it up here? You guys didn't tell me Michigan was so beautiful, right? Again, where I really found the one pedal thing to be really valuable is going down a hill, it manages each tire independently. So if you let off the brakes, all four tires release and then move forward, and then you have to put, the, put your foot on the brakes and then it slows back down again, where when it maintains, it maintains all four tires at a, a, a constant rate. And so therefore you, you minimize slipping. So it's pretty cool. Uh, technology there on slippery descents. I could see that being very valuable. For this stuff, it's not really for this. Doing cruise control, going across the park is just showing off. No feet. 
cruise control at 10 miles per hour. Come on. One of the things that I think that is mandatory equipment wise on this is the Sasquatch package. You definitely want the bigger flares and the 35 inch tires. Plus this best top Sunrider top you see right above me, that is mandatory. Once I got that on my Jeep, I can't believe that I Jeeped ever without it. It's so much better than the Freedom panels because it does that in literally a few seconds. And check this out. See what I mean about that? It's It makes this a whole different experience. I gotta tell you, just initial impressions are, the things are so comfortable. Now we have the tires inflated a little bit too much for my taste, they're at 40 PSI right now, so it's a little bit stiff on the, on the trail and not a lot of compliancy, but the independent front suspension just makes up for all of that and just makes it so nice. So I can't wait to take you guys on a little bit more of a drive, but this is a fun little sneak peek into the, that in that world. And you can see here the dash with all of its little off-roady goodness. So just this little bit just gives you a, a hint at uh, what this thing is for. I mean, it is just an absolutely just great trail rig. Rock crawler remains to be seen. Trail rig, pretty awesome. It's learning how to embrace the technology and not fight it. Coming from a JK, that's the $20 question. Would you, would I? get rid of my JK and opt for one of these. I don't think this could do what my JK can do. You guys have been with me on the build for that, but does it need to? And does it do enough? Today was not quite enough to do a full test of that, but boy, it was a, a glimpse into the capabilities of this thing could do, I would say 85% of, right just like it is, it could do 85% of the trails that I need it to do. And the two hour drive on the freeway to get up here was, as you can imagine, a, a vehicle with independent front suspension. It was, and rack and pinion steering. It was a dream on the highway. So it does go down the highway better. It is an easier vehicle to drive. And again, once you learn to kind of embrace the technology and, and learn to just let it work with you and then work with it, this is pretty great. And then the looks, I mean, they knocked it out of the park with the looks on this thing. So it hits me right in the feels. I love it. I absolutely think this thing is, is uh, a great looking rig. So long answer short, yeah, replace the JK with this. What do you guys think? Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of this thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully there'll be lots more content here for you guys, including some Bronco stuff. In the meantime, go over to this new page called offroadsource.com. Uh, they are all Bronco. So that's a new site that has a lot of Bronco stuff. So go there and check it out. You can get on the email so they, they can give you notifications. I'm actually gonna shoot some stuff for them tomorrow. So go there and check that out. Look for that content. And in the meantime, the Bronco decision has to be made. Do we trade the JK for the Bronco? Or what do we do, guys? Thank you guys for so much for watching. And until next time, enjoy your drive. I am gonna just keep wheeling this Bronco until they take the keys from me.